Aaron and Max Nussbaum, married four and a half years, had just celebrated their first Christmas in their new Maytown condo. They were talking about having a baby. On February 6, 2005, the Nussbaums tragically crossed paths with an out-of-control driver who was high on drugs. The accident happened just two blocks from Lancaster General, where Aaron had just finished working a 12-hour shift. What are you taking out, Doc? This is all clear house. All clear house? That's That's clear. In 2007, the McCartney Nussbaum families created the Day of Smiles, an effort to rechannel their own pain, grief, and anger by reaching out to others. They were both good kids that were on the ball and uh, liked to help other people. So we decided to come up with something that would make people happy or smile. And even though our minds are on Aaron and Max, it, it's we get to see a lot of different people today, and it doesn't hurt so bad. Last year we we made several trips in cars, but I think we're going to have to use my truck several times today, so that's a good thing. Spaghetti and meatballs is a favorite with everybody, said Mother. Try a little spaghetti, but not with you, is it? Aaron and Max loved children. On the anniversary of the accident, their family and friends read to preschoolers at Schreiber Pediatric Rehab Center and Apostles Community Preschool, where Aaron attended. We obviously decided to read to children because Aaron and Max love children. So we chose the Schreiber Pediatric Center here um, because we like the diversity and the idea of um, you know, handicapped children at, at a regular preschool. Um, and then also Church of the Apostles because we belong to that church. So you know, we grew up going to that preschool and it was nice of us to just be able to you know, give back and, and read to them as well. You and Laura and I are going to go into the two and a half year old room. Okay. <laughs> goldfish? Oh Ow. gosh, the goldfish are swimming around in there. Watch this. Say poof. 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 And what do you think he's going to do with it? Cut it? He's cutting that big strawberry. What do you think he's going to do? Cut it, eat it? Maybe he might share it, do you think? Oh. <laughs> share half with me. Look. Now the bear gets half and he gets half. He cut it in half, see? Is that great? Thank you. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm able to give back um, and, you know, it kind of takes your mind off of the tragedy, you know, and you think about other things and when you help other people it makes you feel good.